OP characters in games can lead to satisfying power trips or frustrating hours of gameplay. Whether you're on the receiving end or the one dishing it out, playing with an overpowered character definitely alters your gaming experience. So today, we are discussing some of the more memorable OP characters that we've encountered over the years, and how these buffed up individuals have made or broken their games. This is our list of the top 10 most OP characters in video games. Number 10, Thanos. The marketing geniuses at Marvel teamed up with Fortnite to bring players an Avengers Infinity War mashup limited time event that had players going wild. The mashup presented a new type of battle royale mode where players were all gunning for the Infinity Gauntlet. Whoever gets their hands on it becomes Thanos, who, while he can't wield guns, has some massive power upgrades, becoming almost invincible. But the downside is that you don't quite have the same powers as Thanos does in the films with the Infinity Gauntlet in the game. That would probably be way too overpowered if you think about it. But cool thing is, it still takes multiple attacks by multiple players on you in order to take you out as Thanos, adding a whole new interesting everyone versus Thanos dynamic to the battle royale game. And at number 9, Pyramid Head from Silent Hill 2. Pyramid Head is perhaps one of the most terrifying foes to come out of a Silent Hill game, which is saying a lot since the series is pretty darn horrific to begin with. Pyramid Head is the representation of the desire to be punished for protagonist James Sunderland, punished for his wife Mary's death. And Pyramid Head poses a threat not only through physical means, you encounter him three times, with the last time having two Pyramid Heads to face, and the final fight is time based, with a cutscene signaling its end rather than you successfully killing them. Instead, they commit suicide. In our number 8 spot, Bayonetta. Bayonetta is the protagonist of her self-titled hack and slash action adventure game series. Controlling her gives you the ability to destroy enemies with powerful long range to melee attacks, complex strings of combos, and torture attacks, where you can summon the likes of chainsaws and iron maidens to take out your foes. She also has a move called Witch Time, that temporarily slows time in order for you to inflict a ton of counter damage. And she also once punched God, so yeah, pretty OP. In at number 7, Brigetta from Overwatch. Overwatch is a game that constantly fluctuates in terms of which characters are OP, and often which ones are nerfed, much to many fans' disapproval. In a game so dynamic as Overwatch though, nerfing and buffing characters is an essential process if the game is going to remain balanced, and ultimately if it's going to remain fun. In the past year, there's been back and forth online about characters like Mercy and Junkrat being nerfed and whether or not that was necessary. But these days, the latest character to go under the microscope is Brigetta, a brand new character to enter the fray, and enter completely unnerfed. Except that is probably going to change pretty darn soon. And at number 6, Doom Guy from Doom. Doom Guy, which is the name that has been given to the protagonist you play in the Doom franchise, is a pretty big badass. He's a one man army, fighting back hordes upon hordes upon hordes of demons. A silent space marine who is meant to represent the player themselves, Doom Guy is bent on getting rid of demons and simply that. Minimalistic, but ever so potent in the way that he eliminates the demonic threats, which he is entirely capable of doing so solo. Up next at 5, Galen Marek. There's a reason why Galen is known as the Star Killer. Galen is from Star Wars The Force Unleashed, and is Darth Vader's apprentice, who just so happens to be wickedly strong. During the game, he stands up to not only Vader, but to Darth Sidious, and proves to be a serious threat to both. His abilities go beyond being able to wield a lightsaber or engage in combat like a pro. He's so in touch with the force that he can use it to pull star destroyers out of the sky. Hence the nickname. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty powerful. Up next, number 4, Dracula. Dracula is a constant in the Castlevania series. As the series' primary antagonist, most games often revolve around you working your way through his castle, leading up to the ultimate boss battle against him. Forced into madness after the death of his first wife, he used his powers to build his fortress and an army of dark creatures, and was constantly resurrected until he was killed for sure in 1999 by the last descendant of the Belmont family. Dracula's powers have quite the reach. At times, it seems as if there isn't anything he can't do, especially when you consider all of the obstacles you must face to even get to him at the end. Up next at 3, Arceus from Pokemon. Part of the strategy that goes into playing a Pokemon game is knowing when to play certain Pokemon types against one another in battle. It's why building a balanced team is so important. Then a Pokemon like Arceus comes along and completely skews that logic. This legendary Pokemon may not be the strongest one out there, but it's arguably the most powerful when used intelligently. The Pokemon equivalent to God, the creature has been said to be responsible for the creation of Pokemon, which is a pretty big deal. Arceus can change its type whenever it's using its multi-type ability, which is a massive game changer in any battle. And at number 2, Azura from Azura's Wrath. As Azura, you play as a demigod seeking revenge against other demigods. And every single battle in this game is of epic proportions. While Azura's Wrath is considered to be an interactive anime with quick time button prompts mixed in with third person combat, the lack of full control over the battles you engage in doesn't take away from the sheer immensity of his abilities. The character literally dies, comes back, dies again, comes back again, and then slaughters the demigods who have betrayed him. Talk about persistence. Slaughtering gods isn't only Azura's game though, it's something our next number is more than familiar with.
familiar with. Finally in our number one spot, Kratos. Kratos' track record is pretty insane. Another character hailing from a hack and slash series, Kratos, named after a figure in Greek mythology who is the personification of authority, has a laundry list of dead deities that no one can compete with. He's killed almost every single Olympian and Greek mythological figure you can think of, or somehow was involved in their death, including the likes of Ares, Poseidon, Hades, Hercules, Kronos, Hera, and Zeus. While his days of vengeance have dissipated in the latest God of War game, Kratos, now a father, finds himself facing a whole new slew of gods and monsters from Norse mythology, only to prove that the ghost of Sparta is by far the ultimate god slayer. And that's a pretty tough title to beat. Alright, there we have it friends. Which of these characters do you feel is the most OP'd? And what other ones do you think we should have included on this list? Give us a shout about it in those comments below. If you're feeling like more great gaming lists, be sure to check out the playlist that's flashing on your screen right now to see more from Top 10 Gaming. And before you go, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. In the meantime though, thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video.